bill that passed the house over the weekend is it just a high profile shot at an ultra popular app it's a historically unusual move that it in itself could create problems for the law by naming a single company by seemingly reversing the u.s's long-standing policy on data and the open internet it calls into question how the law would be enforced exactly what it will change and whether it can survive a constitutional challenge experts strain for a comparison reaching back decades or even longer to find moments in which washington attempted so sharply to rewrite its relationship with global industry well that's because they want to control what you're saying on tiktok tiktok is forcing you to become a little bit cringe and care about things they want you to be apathetic and lazy. There's no analog in history to what passed the House, said Will Reinhardt, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. The bill passed by the House of Representatives Saturday would force the sale of social media app TikTok by its Beijing-based parent company, ByteDance. It would effectively ban it if the sale doesn't happen within a year. It would become a law as soon as this week if the Senate takes it up and President Joe Biden signs it. It's far from clear what would happen next. One reason for the uncertainty is just how unusual usual it is for Congress to take a direct shot at a single powerful company. There are not too many historical parallels that come to mind regarding TikTok, said Dartmouth University trade historian Doug Irwin. He said the United States has occasionally deployed tariffs against foreign firms in anti-dumping cases, but that TikTok is unusual in singling out a specific firm to be banned potentially from the U.S. market. It's because the Zionists want it to be banned. The AEI's Reinhardt wrote a policy paper in January analyzing the spiraling policy implications of an earlier draft of the legislation and found that it raises serious questions about the limits of executive power over trade. The bill would ban a massive communications platform, which means the courts will probably be deciding if it violates the First Amendment. It's telling that some are trying to compare the current TikTok divestiture bill to the World War I era Trading with the Enemy Act, he said, because a century ago, First Amendment law was substantially less developed. While the Constitution forbids targeting specific individuals or corporations with legislation, workarounds for national security or broadly defined public interest are common. In 2020, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States cited privacy concerns in forcing a Chinese company to sell the gay dating app Grindr. But Grindr has a fraction of the user base and market capitalization of the behemoth TikTok, making the latter a uniquely difficult case. Its size alone makes the for sale provision a huge question mark. The fast-moving TikTok bill, along with the ad hoc nature of Congress's ongoing attempt to prevent the government from accessing potentially sensitive American data. <coughs> By the way, this is not true. You can buy all this data from third-party information brokers.